this video is now all about invertebrates. Uh, there's lots of animals that don't have backbones, and these are called the invertebrate animal classes. Uh, the two most commonly known invertebrate classes are arachnids, or spiders, and insects. Insects are invertebrates. That means that they have six legs, they have no backbone, they have two antennae, they have three body parts, these are the head, thorax and abdomen, and some examples of insects are beetles, ants, ladybirds and bees. Arachnids are invertebrates. Now they have eight legs, they have no backbone, they have two body parts which are the head and the abdomen, and some examples of arachnids are spiders, scorpions, ticks and mites. Crustaceans are invertebrates. They have a head and an abdomen. They have four antennae. They mostly live in the ocean or other waters. Many have claws that can help with crawling and eating. They have a hard shell to protect their body. And some examples of crustaceans include crabs, lobsters, prawns, and barnacles. Annelids are invertebrates, and they don't have any limbs, so no arms and no legs. They don't have a backbone, and they have bodies that are divided into segments. They've existed for over 120 million years. And some examples of annelids include earthworms, leeches, and fireworms. Mollusks are invertebrates, and they have a slimy foot. They have no backbone, they often have a shell, and some examples of mollusks include snails, octopuses, slugs, mussels, and clams. Myriapods are invertebrates too, and they live on land. They don't have a backbone, they have many legs, and some examples of myriapods are centipedes and millipedes. Echinoderms are invertebrates too, and they are marine animals that live in the ocean. They have arms or spines that radiate from the centre of their body. Um, the central part of the body um, contains the organs and its mouth, which is underneath it for feeding. Some examples of echinoderms are sea stars, sea urchins and sea dollars. Oops, gone too far. And that's the end of that video.